Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and greetings from Tokyo. Today I would like to share with you my first impressions after spending 12 hours with the new Fujifilm GFX100. This is not a review, this is just first impression. Before I continue, I'll try to dismantle two potential landmines. One is about the question of using large sensor for video production. Let's wait until there, there is more footage and more people are using it and then I think we can judge better and answer this question in a more accurate way. The second thing is about the sensor size itself. Some call it medium format, others will say hey this is not a real medium format because the measurements are not as medium format. Let's try and agree and call it large format sensor. At the end of the day the sensor size is even larger than full frame. So when it comes to shooting video, what is so unique about this camera besides the sensor size? The camera has fast, accurate autofocus. It has IBIS, which is in-body image stabilization system. And it can record video in 4K up to 30p in 10-bit 420 all intra internally into the SD card. If you are looking to have a better color sampling, you can always connect an external recorder and then through the HDMI you can achieve 4 to 2 color sampling. Two additional interesting facts. One, there is no recording limit time with this camera, which is really, really nice. And the other thing, there is no crop when shooting video, meaning the camera is using the full sensor size when filming video. After spending 12 hours with the camera, I can say the following. When it comes to picture quality, I really liked what I see. It's clean, it's very detailed, but it has also identity. It has really something unique in it. And not because it's only a large sensor, it's just simply very, very nice. Because I was filming with a pre-production camera, of course, we couldn't do a dynamic range test. But the highlights roll-off looks very nice. And in general, this tolerance between the light parts of the image and the darker ones looks very, very relaxed. Now, a few words about the autofocus system and the IBIS. The autofocus is fast and reliable. And when it comes to the IBIS, this is one of the best i ever seen. It's quite amazing what Fujifilm made here. If you've been wondering about the low light capabilities of the camera, I'm sorry that I cannot uh, share much here. 
I simply had the camera for two short time and the batteries ran out. So I managed to capture a few shots, but besides that, I will wait until I get the camera again and then hopefully I can shoot much more and see how it performs in low light. When it comes to ergonomics, the camera is big. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of a built-in battery grip, but I can understand why Fujifilm decided to actually include it within the camera. It's heavy, but yet it's very stable, and even with my small hand, I still find it easy to operate. Now, the camera will cost $10,000. Of course, for some it might be affordable, for others a bit less. But what is important to remember that uh, other cameras from other manufacturers with similar specifications will cost as much as three times more. The second clip is a teaser for a two-part short documentary that we made about how the GFX100 was born. Those, uh, those videos will be online shortly. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys. Thank you. Ever since the Fujifilm GFX100 was announced, we wanted to document the process of how this camera is being designed and built and get to know the people behind the project. The things I need to carefully check is this 100 megapixel really can work for the customers. Yeah, I think we selected lightweight. Lightweight means medium format. So this camera is, has so many features. Yeah, everything is challenging for me and for us, of course. <laughs> Join me in this unique two parts documentary for exclusive behind the scenes story, only on Cinema 5D. Okay, 12 hours with the camera. That's all I got.